Hi guys, I will explain laminator theory part 5 about the zero stiffness element distribution uh, from symmetric matrix to summary. Here I have a quiz for you. Please select all that produce a ply steer among the stiffness matrix types listed below. Symmetric laminates, symmetric balanced laminates. Symmetric laminate with isotropic layers, symmetric laminate with cross ply layers, antisymmetric balanced laminates, asymmetric balanced laminates. Plaster is produced by the cross coupling stiffness of tire belts. In this figure, all the stiffness elements in the yellow circles are related to cross coupling and can develop the cross-coupling forces or moments, or they are fly steer suspects. The most fundamental cause of fly steer due to the tire belt is that the occurrence S of a round tire becomes straight line T as it flattens at the contact patch. So the length must be reduced for this reason, compared to the round part, compressive force Nx is produced in the tire belt of contact patch. Therefore, it is important whether cross-coupling deformation of the contact patch due to the longitudinal compressive force Nx occurs. If the cross-coupling matrix elements A16 and B16 related to the longitudinal force have non-zero values, they produce the cross-coupling deformation, and we end up with ply steer. Uh, therefore, the, we must make them zeros. For this, the combination order of belt layers is important. Uh, let's see in what order the belt layers should be assembled in order to eliminate the cross-coupling stiffness. In the symmetric laminate, all the elements of B matrix are equal to zero, but in plane cross-coupled stiffness elements A16 and A26 are not zero. Therefore, there will be a ply steer. In the symmetric laminate with isotropic layers, all the stiffness elements of V matrix are equal to zero. And A16 and A26 are also equal to zero. Therefore, there will be no ply steer. And the symmetric laminate with cross ply layers, all the stiffness elements of B matrix are equal to zero. And A16, A26 are also equal to zero. Therefore, there will be no ply steer. Now, many authors call this type as antisymmetric for the cross ply laminate, but it may confuse people uh, because antisymmetric means a plus angle ply should be paired to the minus angle one at the same distance away from mid ply. Uh, then a minus zero ply is equal to plus zero one and minus 90 ply is equal to plus 91. So plus and minus plies are all the same in the case of cross ply. As a result, a symmetric cross ply laminate is equal to anti-symmetric one. Uh, therefore, I introduced a new terminology, uh, cross anti-symmetric, especially only for cross ply laminate. In the cross in the cross antisymmetric cross ply laminate, all the elements of B matrix are not equal to zero, but A16, A26, B16, B26 are all equal to zero. Therefore, there will be no ply steer. Asymmetric cross ply laminate has the same stiffness matrix distribution as that of cross ply antisymmetric one. All the elements of B matrix are not equal to zero, but A16, A26, B16, and B26 are all equal to zero. 
Therefore, again, there will be no price tier. In the symmetric balanced laminates, all the stiffness elements of B matrix are equal to zero, and A16 and A26 are also equal to zero. Therefore, there will be no price tier. Here we have another example of symmetric balanced laminates. All the stiffness elements of B matrix are equal to zero. And A6 and A26 are also equal to zero. Therefore, there will be no price tier. In the antisymmetric balanced laminates, A16 and A26 are all to zero. But B16 and B26 are not zero. Therefore, there will be a price tier. In the asymmetric balanced laminates, A16, A26 are all equal to zero, but B16 and B26 are not equal to zero. Therefore, there will be a price tier. The answer to the quiz is symmetric laminates, antisymmetric balanced laminates, asymmetric balanced laminates. Here we have a summary. The longitudinal force is produced in the contact patch where the tire flattens. If the cross-coupling stiffness elements are not zero, the corresponding deformation will occur and result in price tear. The stiffness elements A16 and B16 related to the in-plane and out-of-plane coupling stiffness produce the price tear. Therefore, they should be minimized as much as possible. Stacking order of price is very important to do that. The stacking order for price without the price tier are as follows. Symmetric balanced laminates, symmetric laminate with isotropic layers, symmetric laminate with cross ply layers. If you watch the previous videos, you can easily understand upcoming videos. In the previous video, E35, I explained how to find the role of individual stiffness element. Recently, I explained how to interpret the stiffness matrix elements and also compliance matrix elements and how to read the laminate code. Uh, next video will be a price tier part 11. I will explain the laminate theory part 6 about the principle of a stacking sequence to make the price tier equal to zero. Uh, please hit the like and catch the brand new videos by free subscription. So what are you waiting for? See you in next video. Goodbye guys.